Hi, I'm Sam and this is another Pergeos tutorial. So in this tutorial we'll cover image filtering. So just to give you a basic overview of what this tutorial will cover is we're going to first just talk about different filters and then we're going to apply three different filters to an image and then combine them using the arithmetic module. So to start out, we want to talk about smoothing filters. So smoothing filters is like the most is the most important category and why they're there's many more smoothing filters than other types of filters. So these filters help smooth noisy images, and some users call these these noisy filters. It is important to not use them too much because they can lose other information contained in the image. So the most basic of these filters is a median filter. It's a basic filter for preserving edges. Then there's also the sharpening filter, sharpening filters, and edge detection filters, which we'll talk about more later when we get into using them. So to do that, let's go and we're going to open up some data. So next we're going to go open data and we're going to go do open data centerglass.am. So the first thing I usually do when I open some data and it's a big data set is I usually crop it just so I can make it run a tiny bit faster on my computer. So I don't have to spend as much time waiting for stuff to compute. And then once I know I have a good filter thing, I can always uncrop it and rerun it. So let's click apply and there we go and then we're going to go to filtering and the first filter we're going to apply is called the median filter. We're going to do that and we're going to click 3D. So what this filter does is if you notice the difference from here to here, there it doesn't do about good of edge detection but if you look at it, there's not much difference between the edges and the center parts and they're all just uniform. So the next filter we're going to use is a different filter, it's called bilateral filter. And what th this does a better job of preserving these edge points. So we're gonna run this on centerglass.am2. And there we go. And if we look here, this does a better job of preserving these edges with these white lines. So then the third filter we're gonna run is called the Sobel filter. So if we go here and we're gonna to go to 3D and we wanna run this one on centerglass.am again, and we're just gonna click okay. So this one just detects edges. It doesn't do anything else. It shows you the strong white places are where you see edges, right there. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna combine these three filters using the arithmetic module. So to do this, we're gonna to go to the editing one and we're just gonna search for arithmetic. So we're gonna take the first input as dash filtered, second one, two, and the third one is just dot filtered. So the next part is we need to compose a formula to combine these ones. So the formula I'm going to show you will take the two different one, the bilateral and median one and apply them to the parts where they're most useful. So we're going to apply the median filter to all the parts in the center, like right here. And we're going to apply the bilateral filter to this area. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to multiply both of them by the Sobel filter, which as you remember, on these white areas, it's very strong. So to do this, we're going to use this expression, D times A divided by 256 plus C times 1 minus A divided by 256. So why we're multi dividing A by 256 is 256 is basically the minimum to maximum range of A. So if we divide it by that, A will become a value from zero to one, which is perfect for us to multiply the bilateral filter and the median filter by. So if we click apply, and we're actually, when we, wait, I need a multiply sign there. And then there we go. So now this is like a combination of both those filters. There's white edges here and it's good on the inside. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Please watch another Pergeos or Aviso tutorial and have a nice day.